Okay, so in this lesson, what we're going to go through is how to add a stereo camera and how to render it. And with rendering the stereo camera, that you can simply just render. But when it's coming to making a film, what you most likely want to do is render the left and right image separately so you can composite them in something like After Effects or Nuke afterwards. And this way, you can edit the footage and color correct without having to re render inside Maya. So, to begin with, to get the stereo cam up, we go to Panels, Perspective, wait, not Stereo, New Stereo Cam. When it does that straight away, you're looking through the Stereo Cam View, Stereo Cam Center. So, and you can see the background's black, but that's normal. The reason the background's black is because when you're looking through the camera, it wants you to focus on your subject, which in this case is a spaceship, and the black helps the stereo effect, helps you not focus on the background. So if we just go back to perspective and press F to frame up on the cameras, here you'll see there's added three cameras. There's a the center cam, the left eye, and the right eye. And the separation between the left and right eye is the same of an average human adult. So this gives the effect that it's, that it's the left and right eye. So when we're rendering, we don't want to render one image because if we render one image, it's a stereo image. That might be fine for previewing purposes, but when it comes to making a film or something like that, you want to be able to edit each individual image in a package like Nuke or After Effects. In order to do that, if you color correct a stereo image that's already been merged inside Maya, you're going to break the stereo effect by color correcting because you're changing the difference between the blue and cyan, the red and cyan colors. So to start off, what we'll do is we'll look through the stereo cam and at the moment looking through the center cam so there are some some options like in stereo center eye horizontal interlace different things like anaglyph in th this training kit we're going to be going through anaglyph more because it's more for low budget and easier to make so we'll go back to center eye and straight away if we just click render so I'll just close these for these alright so I'll just pause the video, video there for a bit whilst it rendered so as it was rendering on my screen what I could see and on your screen if you're following through is it renders the red side and then it renders the blue and then you can see it compositing them back together and if we bring up if you wanted to save this image it would save just one image which is the stereo stereo effect but then after that you can't edit it so what we want to do is to set up Maya so it renders the left and right separately and then if you want you can render the centre cam as like a preview in purpose so to do this we render up, bring up the render globals, render settings right so first first you want right well first we'll go to the cameras so renderable camera what we want is the centre cam so stereo camera this will render the centre cam which will have no stereo effect but it'll, you'll be able to see where the camera's aiming but if you want to add more cameras you can go to add renderable camera so what this will do is this will render the middle camera and then render the second camera which we'll put as stereo camera pair what camera pair does is it renders the left and right separately not together but if you want if something goes wrong during the rendering on one camera it's like if you're rendering a long long animation and for some reason the left camera's not working for five frames what you can do is then come back in Maya change the settings to left, cam left camera and just render that through so you don't need to render both so for this we're just going to go to stereo pair right so that looks fine but if we went along and rendered this what you'd get is you'd get three images of ship test or whatever name you've got in here and that's not very good if you're wanting to composite this back in After Effects or Nuke you want something, some name, naming convention so to do this, what we'll do is first we'll put we'll put ship test, which we want to be a folder. So we'll put a slash, which makes it a folder, and we'll put lesson or two, right? And then, so what happens is first it will make a folder called ship test. The, all the images will be named lesson or two, and then if you right click, you can add these little flags like render layers, different things, but for this we're going to insert camera name. So what this will do is there will be a folder, lesson or two, and then it will say center cam, left cam and right cam. 
So this way you've got three images which you can render separately. And then again, if you did this as a naming, like an animation, it'd still do the same. So we'll hit close. And we'll close that off. Now we'll go to render, batch render. And I'll just pause the video whilst it renders. Okay, so that's rendered out now. And if you take a look at your image directory, now we'll see that we've got folder, ship test. And now you'll see we've got the three different separate images the left, the right, and the center. And if you bring, we'll bring them up here, and what you'll notice is there's three images. So that's the right, center, and the left. And you'll notice there's no, no stereo effect, and that's what we want. Because we want to have two sequences for the left, one for the left, one for the right, of normal color. Not, no stereo, no compositing done in Maya and we'll composite that in After Effects doing different filters and stuff. So with that we can use the center cam as well to get a general thing of the animation. Right. So with that in the next lesson we're going to delve more into how to actually change bits of the camera and what we need to do to make the stereo effect better. So thanks for watching.